Welcome to Ruins Devlog 2. Thank you to all the new subscribers and everyone who liked and commented on the last devlog. It really helps with motivation knowing other people are interested in Ruin. I look forward to showing you more of the game each week. Starting from the previous devlog, I mentioned there was an issue with garbage collection. I spent a lot of time this week using profilers to track down any issues with the garbage collection. Nothing obvious was showing up on the profiler. I was completely lost with what was causing the freezing. I figured it must be a function doing too much work, so I tried turning off parts of the game to track down the issue. I did find the problem and it was one line of code which pings the server to retrieve the latency of the connection. This code freezes the game for a split second while it waits for a response. The solution would be to asynchronous call the code freezing the game. But instead I have decided to remove it as I would like to calculate the ping directly from packets being received from the server to update the game. All the optimization focus around the garbage collection was not wasted though. The game's overall performance has improved significantly. I've also been developing a global chat which turns the main menu into a hub for players to connect to each other. The global chat is also connected to all servers, so anyone playing Ruin will be connected no matter the server they're on. I thought of this as a solution to some servers having lower populations than others, and the global chat offering players in lower population servers a way to still ask for help or still be able to make new friends while not being on the same server. The options menu is also currently being developed. The old options menu is very limited in options and the layout is very simple. The new options menu is now a pop-up window with four subpages, video, gameplay, audio, keybinds. Each subpage features the new scroll box GUI, which will allow the whole menu to scroll up or down, allowing the use of a lot more options in the future. If you're interested in following Ruin's future development, then feel free to subscribe. I would love to hear any feedback regarding the video or game. The Ruin Discord is also always active if you're interested in being part of a growing community. You can expect to have a new Ruin devlog each week. Thank you for watching till the end.